So I'm going to name off some of the things that I have here. All right, here I have some cinnamon, some yarrow, eucalyptus, honeysuckle, raspberry leaf, elderflower, catnip flower, marshmallow root, peppermint, coconut, chamomile, ginger, dandelion, orange peel, ground pineapple, date sugar, dehydrated blueberries, and some oranges. These are um, little tea bags that you can get, and they're called press and seal. And what you do is um, you fill up what you want, all the items that you want to put in here, and then you press it with an iron, and it seals it, and you have an instant tea bag. And the other one they have is the smaller ones for individual tea use. But um, right now, I'm going to do one of my specialty teas. So if you're trying to break the tea and coffee habit and give up the caffeine, it's a really difficult thing to do. But if you start making herbal teas, trust me, it makes life a lot easier. So this is one of my favorites that I'm going to do for you right now. Okay. Right here. Oh, first of all, I want to show you how I grind up the pineapple. Okay, so you want to follow me over here? Now, just like I did with the orange peels and the lemon peels, um, this is my grinder, and these are my dehydrated pineapples. Okay? So I'm going to crunch those up and put them in my grinder. Now, this is the grinder I got at Grizzly online for $25. Um, like I said, one day I want to get a more expensive one, but I might have to wait a while. But this one works great, just so you know. This is great. I don't know what I would do without this one. So you're going to put this all in here like this. Okay, and then you're going to turn the crank. Okay. Alright, so what I did was I ground up the pineapple. So it looks like this. Okay, now that I showed you how to grind the pineapple up, you can do that with any of your... Uh, fruits that you want to put a fruity flavor in your teas. You can just dehydrate them and grind them up. So here I have my uh, pineapple that's been ground up. I'm going to add three teaspoons in this bag. Pineapple. Okay. And then I'm going to put in some coconut. And I'm going to put in some, for sweetness, I'm going to put in some date sugar. Two teaspoons of that. And now for my tea leaf, I'm going to use raspberry, go. I'm going to use raspberry leaf for my tea leaf. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab about this much in my hand. Can you see how much I have? About that much. And I'm going to pop it inside the bag. Okay. Now, the bag should have about an inch from the top. Okay. So when you hold it up to the light, you can see it's about an inch from the top. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your iron. Okay. And you're just lightly going to press it with your iron, just like this. And this is going to seal your tea bag. Okay. Now, what you can do if you don't want to use an iron, which I normally do, is I use my vacuum sealer. But I just want to show you that you can use an iron when you do this. And then you have a little bag like this that's great for tea. And like I said, this is one of my, my favorites, but I invented it myself. And, and you can do the same thing. You can take all the um, herbs and spices um, that you want, and you can put it all together and make a really great tea. So anyways, I'm going to put this in some water. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, here's my specialty tea. Now this bag here, the big bag, makes about six cups. And you have to let it steep for about 15, 20 minutes. I like 20 minutes because it, it makes it stronger and uh, it tastes really good. So now I'm going to pour this in here. Okay. And then what you can do is you can take a orange peel and you can float it on top and that tea is so good I can actually drink this stuff all day long 
It's that good. So when your friends come over, uh, you can give them a really neat tea and they'll say, where did you get that? And it makes great gifts. So you can actually design all your own teas and put it together and uh, make a really good gift to give out to your friends and stuff. Let me tell you what some of these teas do, though. Okay, peppermint, elderflower, and ginger. And this is good, like if you have the chills or you're running a fever, this would be a good combination to drink for that. Okay, here we have peppermint, marshmallow root, and ginger. And that combination would be good for muscle pain. Here we have peppermint, catnip flour, and ginger. And this is good for intestinal cramps. Uh, another thing that's good for abdominal cramps is chamomile and ginger. And this is your chamomile here. So during the summer, uh, you can go on your herb hunt and you can collect all your herbs and you can put them on your dehydrator and then you can put them in jars and you can make your own teas and um, give your friends and family special teas that you made. And um, it's just another thing you do with dehydrator.